Hello everybody, I'm Grey Gamer, and we have got a little video. Um, I've had one or two requests for a, a mod sort of rundown, so we're going to quickly go through those for everybody. Um, we have got Quality Builder, just to make sure the, uh, we get all the good stuff. Tilled Soil, just give it a little bit of sort of aesthetic value. It's quite nice to have. Um, extended yeah, don't ask me the prosthetics. There we go. Um, just to give you a little bit sort of late game, things go wrong, you need to sort of get that uh, extra leg or kidney or something like that, you know. Uh, miscellaneous training, so just shooting practice and fighting, that kind of thing. I love the vegetable garden, it gives you so many more things to grow and work with, which is uh, excellent. Uh, vein miner, just makes it so much easier, just to one click and you select all of that particular item, so all of the steel in that in that mountain attached to the front bit will be mined, very very useful. You have to have Hugslib. Um, EDB prepare, so this helps you sort of early game if you need to, like as you saw I've got some animals and I've got some extra weaponry, it just helps you sort of get, get a really good start and you can change it however you like which is very useful. Uh, fences and floors, you know I've got the wooden fences around the um, around the animals. You can get sort of all this stuff, so the metal panels, center panels, and then the security fence, etc. Uh, Hamming that brick, very very useful. Um, Colonists designed by hauling will deliver resources to blueprints. It just means whoever's on hauling will will drag any item, any anything you need to build something to that area. Whereas before. You just had the the guy who was constructing it would have to would have to deliver it all. It just quickens everything up and makes it a little easier. Um, the allow tool. It just means that sort of anything on the map that's not selected to be picked up, you could just one click, and it just un sort of allows everything to be picked up, which is uh, a little useful. Uh, while you're up, it just means if one person goes out does a job and then on the way back it can haul something it will do it just again quickens everything up makes it a little bit easier uh, what you can do is you can just pause as I go through if you need to read up on it I won't try not to spend too much time doing this um, robots uh, we've not got that far yet but the cleaning the cleaning bot and the hauling bot again makes things just that little bit easier sort of late game we will get to robotics eventually uh, expanded crops again I just like to be able to grow lots of cool stuff so again, pause on here if you need to um, have a look through by all means. Uh, hospitality just means you can build yourself a little hotel and just make sure everybody's much happier when they arrive. You've got a better chance of recruiting people. Again, by all means, pause and read through. Um, it just it just makes it just that added little extra. Uh, rim fridge basically you can buy you can get fridges makes it a little easier. Um, gourmet garden so you can make chocolate and cheese and cookies and milkshakes all that kind of stuff again it just adds a little bit more depth to what you're doing um, it just just makes it a little bit more interesting more stuff to do which is great uh, this just the organized research tab put everything in order uh, drinks garden so you can make lots of different alcoholic drinks which is kind of cool which we haven't got to yet but we will uh, storage solutions you just can build more like cupboards and things like that. It's just another little dimension. Um, extra research tree. Uh, RTS weapons pack just gives you more weapons to use. You, you know, early game, you can pick out on the uh, the advanced sort of um, what's it called? Prepare carefully. You can get a few more weapons. Kind of cool stuff. Um, more veg sort of guard medicine, so you can actually grow things you need. Stack merger. It just means that your stockpile will always be all of, say, all of your corn is it going to be in one place. You're not going to have like 23 in one place, 31 in that place. They will automatically stack all for you, making it a little easier. Barbed wire. I just thought it was kind of cool just to do that. Uh, we have used a little bit around uh, one of our walls. Um, you can, yeah, hunt for me. You can use your animals to go hunting. Which is kind of cool. Wall light. You've seen that I've used that a lot. It just it just saves space on the floor, you know, and it means your corridors don't have to be as wide. Yeah, it's just much better. Uh, more turrets. We've not got that far yet. Our research is shocking. We will get there, I promise. 
but yeah, we're going to have lots more uh, interesting terrace going on. Cut blighted plants. Now that is oh, it's such a useful thing because if you have a blight, it's such a pain cutting them all, re sowing them all. It doesn't work out that way. So this is just a nice little easier. And then extra furniture. That's it. And um, the fish industry and the children, the fish industry isn't really working for us on this particular moment because. Well, we don't have any water around us and the children thing I've used that children mod once and yes you can sort of teach them stuff and all that but it just gets a bit out of hand I think I ended up with about 15 15 colonists at one point because they just kept having kids they are very useful but it just gets a little bit out of hand so we've not enabled that in the future we might do a run through with it with it attached but for now we'll just leave it at that um, We'll come off that. Uh, we do have, I mean, our options currently. Uh, can I change it on here? No. But basically, a little little read through. What I'm doing is because it's a, a playthrough, because it's a bit of a tutorial, I am going in between. Uh, I'm sticking with Cassandra Classic, but I am going between Rough and Base Builder, and I'm changing as I go. Just, just if I need a bit of a break, I put on sort of some challenge. And it just gives me a bit more time to get things done to show you what's going on and then once I'm settled I put it back onto rough and then we'll move on from there and get harder and harder I don't want us to get wiped out too early so it's really a case of getting it all settled in I change the difficulty here and there just to make it a little easier just in case things are going a little bit wrong um, and then we can actually go ahead and continue the tutorial I hope all that makes sense. Any questions, please leave it in the comments below. As always, please like and subscribe and tell all your friends. I'll see you next time. I've been Green Game.